Hello and welcome back. I am Marumba. Thank you for joining me. We're playing AB Plus Multiplayer Factorio with DJ. I feel like I just did the intro. Did I do the intro? I don't think so. I done the outro. Yeah, I know you did, but I don't know. Oh. I, just, I just feel like I had one, one, one too many intros today. Maybe those. Possibly. Yeah, could be. All right. So I think that the only thing that's stopping the system now is that I've got to introduce some more ceramic filters. Not too many. You know, they were doing that thing where it's like they were each machine was like sharing ceramic filters and spent ceramic filters with the neighbor and mm, yeah. sometimes they just like get too many in them and then they couldn't work anymore. But well, my hot one barrel or things working fine. Let me take a look, where are you? Okay, so it's a fluid based one. With a lot less combinators. How many different fluids are you dealing with right now? Uh, just the one. Oh, okay. So you're not like doing rest. Well, hold on. You are doing recipes that require ferric chloride. C um, hmm. When it changes the recipe, when it so changes the recipe, recipe, does it always have the fluid bar the fluid input on the same spot? Is that why you have to yes. use the barrel? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Hmm. Although my question is, when it Ah, fuck, there's the problem. How are you going to clear the fluid box? Yeah, can I force... Can I actually force this to change recipe? Unbarreler? I don't think so. They're automatic. You can't even find the recipes, they're disabled. Well, you can if we turn it on in the settings, but the way it's set up right now, they're hidden by default and it's just automatic. So, I won't even be able to, like, set this with a constant. I think so. Uh, there's the one for bottled chlorine and stuff like that. Can we turn that back on? We, should, we, we could, recipes. but it would, it would break all of the other automatic unbarrelers in the whole factory right now. Or if we were able to look at the recipes? Yeah, because they're they're all doing it automatic. Like the, there's, you'd, we'd have to go find every single one that I've set up in the last you know how many hours and. Set the recipe. It functions in the exact same principle as a furnace that picks up a piece of coal or uh, car. Uh, oh, no, I get that. Or iron, you know? But you says that the recipes were hidden. Mm -hmm. But to view the recipes, we would need to stop them being automatic. I, th I think you can still maybe view them. They're just disabled. Like you can't select them as the player. You can find them in Helm. Yeah, I don't I don't want to select them as a player, but I want to see if the crafting combinator can select it. I wonder if that can override it. Oh shit. Ooh. Interesting. What? So as long as there's not Hmm. Of course, that's gonna just stay if I if I shove something else in there. What else have we got that that's getting barreled? Quite a bit of stuff. Go southeast area of Petrochem, you'll find a bunch of different fluids that I've got getting barreled up here and there. Gonna, we're gonna pick one up and see what happens. Ah, worked so much easier with the Bob's one. Alright, there's a barrel of water. Let's use that. So yeah, with the Bob's one, if you use the uh, the recipe, whatever the fuck it is, crafting combinator, mm -hmm. um, it just deleted all the fluids that was in the the pump. You don't so by having the pump directly next to it, there was no fluid boxes that got filled. It's not going to work that way for this one? No. So I put, yeah, I put a water barrel in, and because there's still ferric chloride in the uh, the barreling pump,
Oh, the uh, the crafting combinator can read the speed of the assembler and read bottleneck status as well. What happens if I read bottleneck status? It can output a yellow, green, and red square, which is really oh. useful for. We used it in uh, a multiplayer <laughs> that is thing. Useful. The, to detect whether the train had finished processing its load, the bottleneck, bottleneck status indicator. You could just say like, if any, any green or any yellow, or whatever, then like, stay working or don't leave or you know whatever. Oh, that's cool. Throw a few more ceramic filters in here. Do the filtration units go up to a higher tier? No, I think tier 2 is the highest they go, isn't it? I don't know. some more production on this speed. Mm. I've got 12 machines, each at 1.125 filters per second. Wait a second. We still have Bob's pumps. Ah, but you don't have fucking recipes for them. Yeah. Although... And those can't be set because I can't fucking select them. Like, I can't even set them using the combinator because I can't find them. Ugh. So, that takes care of the speed of purifying, and now, if we're using 1.125 per second, times 12 machines per side, that's 13.5 per second, probably want to have a buffer. I'm just probably going to need like three or 400 of these things on either side. Well, let's start with filters. Three, four, five. Five are operational. Right now. It's decent. Getting confused over there? Yes. And that mineral sludge is getting, getting itself disappeared pretty quick. That's good. Oh. Alright, perfect. 
Okay. I've got enough of them. That's making them. Hey! Only problem is now, like I said, with the... Actually get it solved. Like, proper solved and working now. Cool. I think so. I need some more fucking wires. Oh my god. I remember I've, I've started working with circuits again. Yeah, I noticed that. You're you're off playing with your little omni duder duder guy. Duderino. Could actually make this thing into a big circle instead of having two separate systems. That way it would balance the ceramic filters better. It would require a rework though. That's probably a good idea, though. I'm going to do that. If ferric chloride is greater than one, then output one ferric chloride canister. There we go. Best way to do it. Right, now I need something else. What, what else do we need? Titanium... No, I was going to say bearings, but... That's a bit of a silly idea. We do need titanium gears, knitting all plate. Ugh, we those, need uh, electronic, thing. I electronic with liquid. processing bolt. Silver zinc batteries. Robot tier seven. Silver zinc. We don't. We can't even make silver zinc batteries. Why not? No, we can. We need them. But do they require liquids? Totally. Pretty sure. Don't lie to me. Not lying. No, they don't. Just making you question your sanity, that's all. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Right, I need something that requires fluids. That you would craft. Um, blue belt requires fluids, doesn't it? Yes, requires lubricant. Alright, cool. Yeah, we can do that. Um, okay. Lubricant barrel. Uh, all right, are we actually barrel and lubricant though? I think so, yeah. Oh, Probably okay. quite a long time ago, I think I got that barreled up. Alright, so how much... How much blue belt's actually in this system? Express belt, express belt, express belt. Better go on the advanced logistics system, wouldn't I? Express belt, there is 100. Okay. Hmm. Oh, because that barreling pump still apparently has a thousand ferric chloride solution in it.
Hmm. Okay. I've got an idea. Good. That's good to hear. Ideas are good. Yes. Um. I need a check valve. These are all mixed up still. What have I done wrong here? Okay, so I gotta reverse some of the inserters is the problem, I think. I've flipped it to try to make it a loop, and I've screwed up the inserters on one side, and uh, probably should've just left it as it was, but then I was like, ah, oh, I should make it a loop, it'll balance the ceramic filters better. Oh, oh it's so much better. Ugh. <laughs> know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying? I need to check valve and a clarifier. And a pump. Clean ceramic filters. Go this way. And then they're supposed to go, ah, that's a problem. Derp. Duh. If you're going to make it a loop, then they, all the freaking things should probably be going in the same direction, right? That would make sense. And then I need... This is, this is uh, a Roomba's brain on drugs. Like I'm, I'm having like a brain hemorrhage right now. That's, that's what's I happening. Think so. Basically. Do you ever do that? Do you have that thing in uh, school? You didn't have that. You were not from the United States. We had this thing, this program when I was a kid called Dare, which is stupid. It's like drug. It was like it was basically drugs are cool and you should do them. It's what it was. This. <laughs> no, it was a police program. They're supposed to like make you scared of drugs and not want to do them, but they oh, like yeah. just like shed a lot of light on how they work and. And they were just like, yeah, it's, these are drugs. And they demystified the whole process. And then apparently, like, overall drug usage went up. It was a horrible, horrible failed program. <laughs> okay. And uh, <laughs> so, uh, what, what? What? Why did I start talking about Dare? I was saying immediately <laughs> before this. It's funny. It was, it was a good, I had a good Brain hemorrhage. Brain hemorrhage. Oh, right, right. Yeah. So one of the things they had was like, so this is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. And it was like one of their slogans. There was like this... Like it was just a scrambled egg or like an egg or something, and they showed a, an egg that was scrambled. You know? <laughs> it's your brain on drugs. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> what a horrible, horrible thing that they had done. Just downright silly. Okay, I need to. Hmm. I need to find a way to get whatever's... in the check valve. And then add that to... Hmm. I need to compare what's in the check valve to another signal. Okay. I've been and able to help you sometimes with this circuitry stuff, but not always, so I can I can try to help. I'm not sure. And if the two signals are the same, so I don't care about how many the signal is, I just care about having it present. Isn't that just a decider, if then? Like if? But I also don't want to have to code it for each individual resource. So basically, if there's, if the signal in the check valve is not present, then I want to turn the pump on. If it's not present. Yeah, if it's not present on the, the other signals, so if I don't have two both signals. But you don't want to check for it directly? Because if you're checking for it directly, then you could just like do like an inverse thing, like a reverse it. Do another combinator, would you? Well, the thing is, once I start adding loads of liquids, it's going to be a lot of combinators. Hmm. 
Yeah, that sounds complicated. All because of a stupid fucking barrel and pump. Because you wanted an auto barreler because you didn't want to click a fucking recipe. No, because I wanted to have the ability to have things that would just, it was just, it makes sense. If they're going to add recipes for every fluid in the game, then there shouldn't be recipes that you have to select. That's dumb. You're dumb. Uh, compelling argument there. Uh, <laughs> Thanks. Uh, it's very impressive. Where did you learn to speak so good? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we've run out of time in this episode, though. Alright. I see. I see what you're going to do. You're going to run away. Just run away. Scare <laughs> run the away girl. from the argument. That's what I do. Scare the little girl, see Joe. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Well, we'll be back. Uh, in, uh, so I think, was this my. I, I don't remember now. Oh, yes, it was you. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for watching. We'll be back next time. See you in a bit. Bye bye.